Hello and welcome to Road CC. Now, under every fancy bike that we review or feature or do anything on lightweight components, someone will say in the comments that it's not about the bike. A certain American even wrote a lovely bedtime story around the same kind of title. Um, and we wanted to test out just how accurate that is. So we're gonna do the same hill climb with Liam against five different bikes and see who wins. Uh, to do this, we need somebody that can do full gas five times in a row. And uh, Liam wasn't really up for it and I'm certainly not. So instead we've roped in the current British hill climb champion, Andrew Feather. Wow, what joy we've got for you today. The first one you'll be familiar with because this is your hill climb bike. This is my hill climb bike, yeah. So I think it's weighing around 5.7 kilos um, and yeah, really, really light. Everything stripped off um, to the bare minimum. Single uh, front ring, uh, no bar tape, lots of fancy finishing kit. Carrying on the no bar tape theme, <laughs> we've got this, which is your winter bike. Your winter bike with its uh, schmog saddle and bars. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's set up as a winter bike in the winter with mud guards, but I've recently taken off the mud guards and it's now, it's now my wet weather summer bike. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really, really light as well. It's, it's I think 7.7 .7 kilos um, with disc brakes. It's so still really, really light. But you might be a bit disappointed if you lose to this next bike, Liam. Uh, which is a full sus uh, specialized mountain bike. Very it's, nice. It's the cross country bike. It's, um, <laughs> I don't even know what it is. It's, it's, <laughs> it has two bouncers on it. That's about as technical as I get with mountain bikes. It's got a nice big mud tire on the front. I'm going to let that down to, you know, about 10 PSI. You can have great fun on that. Um, but it's got a carbon frame, yeah. so it should go. Yeah. And if you can, if you can help out um, Liam by telling him what this bike is, just let us know in the comments below. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. Ah, now we're getting to the business end of this. Yeah. Uh, the Peugeot Competition 300 made from, oh, well, it's Columbus uh, something. It's, it's chrome only, it's not gas pipes, that's fine. Indexed gears for you here, Andrew. Uh, quality steel frame with not, not any rust at all coming no. through there. <laughs> and we've uh, checked that all the gears do work. Yeah, so they do actually work. I've pumped the tires up. Excuse. Happy days. Yeah. Personally, Liam, I'm uh, I'm backing Andrew to beat you. I'm really on that. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. But I'm not backing him to beat you <laughs> on this. Uh, the Dahon folder that we found in the lockup. Yes. That used to belong to somebody. Yes. Uh, uh, this is probably more rust than actual bike now, but um, and it's probably never seen anything over about 300 watts. So. Okay. You might need to be careful. With well, this. there might be. Yeah, it's. Uh, it looks pretty rusty. The chain is looking a, a bit, a bit in a sorry state. It's functional, should we say, yeah, rather just, than. Uh, just. Yes. Well, if he can beat you on that, Liam, I think it's time to throw your expensive bike in the bin. Yeah, I'm going to send my bike back. <laughs> Talking well. of your bike. Oh uh, yeah. If, let's uh, see what you'll be riding. If you want to follow me over here? This is my new bike. It's the S Works Tarmac SL7. I was waiting for this for quite a while, but I've got on it Altegra DI2. I've got a 4i power meter on there to tell me how many watts I'm not doing. I've got a super light pro vibe bar, a carbon saddle. I mean... You've got a set of uh, 2,800 pound wheels yes, on there as well, them, I can see. and them. Yes. Um, to do our test, we needed to find a suitable hill. Now, thankfully, uh, Bath and North East Somerset County Council have kindly relayed uh, Bloomfield Drive just for us, I hear. Yeah. Very nice. It's a 900 metre climb. So it's not a long climb, but it's an average of about eight and a half percent. Gets up to 12 percent around the steep corner. So it's a dis decent challenge. The current KOM, you'll not be surprised to learn, is Andrew Feather. Is it? At two is minutes and really? 12 seconds. Although, Andrew, I don't think you've ever done it on your hill climb bike, you said. It's quite a, yeah, it's going to be interesting to do it with a smooth surface as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, Liam, you're first up. Better get suited and booted, set your time, and then we'll find out which of these bikes is bad enough for Andrew to be worse than you. Let's go. Three, two, one, go! Three, 
two, one, go. Two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, gents, I think it is time. We've done our runs. Poor old Andrew is absolutely cream crackered. Uh, Andrew, before we get to some numbers, actually, can you talk us through your impressions of the various bikes? We'll start with the, f oh, no, let's start over here. We'll start with the mountain bike. How do you find that? Um, the mountain bike was, it was difficult because there was obviously a lot of suspension. So you lost a lot of power out on the road. Um, the frame felt pretty stiff. You could feel that it was a modern bike, but I just think yeah, it was quite hard with the, the big tires and the fact that, you know, you're bouncing around. You suspension. feel like you're losing a lot of energy, don't you? You, you felt like you're losing a lot of energy. And yeah. it was difficult as well because I like riding out the saddle on the hill climb, whereas with the handle bike, handle, with the mountain bike bars, it's obviously slightly yeah. different. So, so you yeah. go from like this to, to all to, the way to, out to, here. To, to riding like that, yeah. going like that, it's, it's, it's quite And the tires yeah. are about this big as well. Yeah, yeah, they are, they're big. Very different bike. Old school Peugeot Competition 300 steel road bike. How did that feel? The Peugeot, um, it actually felt a lot better than it looked. Um, <laughs> although it looks pretty rusty. It's not a looker, is it? No. It looks pretty rusty and obviously hasn't been cleaned in a while. It was, um, it was pretty good actually. Um, it, it, it rode quite well. It was relatively stiff for, a, for an old bike. Um, and yeah, I, I, it, it felt quite decent actually, um, surprisingly. Finally, the least appropriate bike of all. The funniest bike of all. Um, it was it was quite a weird experience riding it. I've never ridden a folding bike before. Um, you know, uh, riding out the saddle with such small wheels feels quite strange. Um, I think the, the the hardest point for me really was the logistical challenge of trying to get my knees around the handlebars um, <laughs> when riding it again out of the saddle. So. I, I, I sort of developed that technique about halfway up, so I, I, I felt that I was sort of <laughs> onto a winner. Um, but again, it actually felt better than it looked. Um, the chain didn't snap. That's which good. Is, which is yeah. something yeah. I was a bit worried about because it does look pretty, uh, pre pretty bad. <laughs> Lovely. But yeah, wow. it, was, it was okay. It was not too bad. 
There we go with some uh, ride impressions. Dave, you have the crucial I've crunched, numbers. I've crunched the numbers, so let's have a look at what we have. Kind of worried now. Liam, on your SL7, uh, which is probably a total of about eight grand's worth of bike, would we say? And more with those wheels. Mm. Yeah. You posted a time of two minutes and 50 seconds. It's not bad. That's Easily a, breaking that's a, the three minute barrier. Yeah, PR for me, I'm happy. Very good. Now, on a, on Andrew's Super 6 Evo, which weighs about five and a half kilos, we weren't expecting you to beat that time. No. And in fact, he posted a 2.14, only two seconds off his right. best, an average of 583 watts. I'd like to say that it was a massive headwind up that climb it, today it, as it, well. It was. Conditions were not <laughs> it was. ideal. It no. was quite tough. <laughs> On the CAD 13, you went straight back down and did another one. Yeah. So you didn't have fresh legs and you did it in 2.34. So still 16 yeah. seconds quicker than you, Liam. Yeah. Um, not too bad. And then you went down and you did it on the Specialised Epic. Yes. Now things get interesting. Please let me not lose this. And you posted a time of three minutes and 10 seconds. Hank. So Hank all that bouncing that. around on those big yeah. tyres not helping. That's still fast though. Yeah. That's not bad for a, for a mountain bike. And then we had a sit down and a coffee. Yes. And yeah. uh, Andrew came back with some fresher legs oh, aboard our Peugeot Competition 300. Aboard the one I'm worried about from 1980 something. Posted a time of two minutes and 36. God. Only two seconds slower than the CAD 13. Oh my Lord. It's flown up that hill. Wow. That so, just proves how, you know, they're still relatively stiff. The, you know, the weight, okay, it's a bit heavier, but they're not, not hugely stiff. It's not slower, holding you back they? all that much, is it? No. No. And on the Dahon folder, we weren't really expecting a record time. No. But three minutes and eight seconds is actually two seconds quicker than the specialised effort. <laughs> <laughs> So what can we deduce from that? Maybe Ooh, let's, let's... rolling resistance plays a part and stuff? I think, yes, a full suspension yeah. bike with big tyres is holding you back a little bit more than a, than a, a clown one. bike that's got his tyres yeah. pumped up nice yeah. and hard. Absolutely. Amazing. And we can also learn that, you know, we say it's not about the bike, and genuinely, the Peugeot Competition 300, which is rusty and old, has actually posted a very good time up there. And we can, neither of us could well, do. We can also say it really is kind of sometimes not about the bike. The rider does make a large difference yes. in this test. Yes, a be mammoth difference. Me being a national hill climb champion kind of works in your favour. Absolutely. So there we go. We haven't really learned anything. No. Well done us. <laughs> Good science from us, <laughs> isn't it? Yes. Well, if you like this video, if you like watching Andrew here ride up climbs a silly amount of times, then hit that like button, subscribe to see more from us, and we will be back doing more valuable science uh, very, very soon. So we will see you next time. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Cheers, Andrew. Thanks for watching. Cheers.